Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Fragrance Collection. Sorry, I have been kind of slacking and not really been here lately. Um, December is probably one of my busiest months personally. Uh, my birthday is this month, Christmas, Christmas parties, family gatherings, Christmas Eve with my extended family. My work is not as busy, so I have taken a lot of vacation time, but I was sick for almost a week and a half, so I would not have been able to film videos without blowing my nose and coughing every two minutes, and I couldn't smell any of my fragrances. If you follow my Instagram page, there were multiple days I was leaving comments in my story saying, I miss being able to smell my fragrances, because I couldn't. I finally am pretty much back. I'm like 95 to 96%. Um, it's just been, it's been a crazy month. I tried buying a new car that didn't go through. Um, I've been trying to wrap all the gifts. I'm filming with you guys right now on a different version of my camera. So this should look clearer and more, um, crisp. So let me know in the feedback if the video looks better. I'm using the actual cameras on my phone, not the front facing camera. So it's a little awkward because I can't see myself, which helps. But so, like I mentioned, my birthday is this month. I am born on December 22nd. I am a Capricorn, 100% through and true. And what do I want for my birthday? And what do I want for Christmas? Perfume. So, I have some really awesome friends that have sent me some gift cards. Majority of the gift cards were to Ulta, because I love Ulta. And Ulta, for my birthday month, like doubles or triples or two times or something. I think it's like two times the points. So I have tons of free money. They gave me like $10 off. Plus they were running like two 20% off events and I had the gift cards. Needless to say, I bought a lot of perfume from Ulta and I will be buying more because I know I asked for Ulta gift cards for Christmas and I already have like almost $60 in free Ulta money. Like I have well over 1200 points. It's insane. First fragrance I'm going to go over is actually what I picked up from the Sephora cell. It was a birthday gift to me because whatever member I am in Sephora, I got like a free birthday gift and I got $10 off. Plus they had 20% off. So I went on to Sephora's site and I got a couple freebies and it was mainly like makeup, which I'll give to my good girlfriends. Like they gave me this completely free. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's this brand called NARS Laguna. It looks like it's a lipstick and maybe a powder set. Super cute, right? And NARS, I guess, is a higher end fragrance, not fragrance, um, higher end cosmetic line. Look, it says happy birthday on it. Isn't that cute? But it just gave me that free. So I have lots of good girlfriends and one of them will be bequeathed this little gift. And I got this cute little thing of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Um, from that Sol de Janeiro brand. My friend on Instagram, Yummy, she's always talking about their products. So, because of Sis, I picked this up. Um, and I'll use this. It's a body cream. I wonder if you use it on your bum bum. I may or may not. And then I got a free fragrance sample. Um, and they sent me Chloe. I did not request Chloe. I requested the Dylan Blue, the EDP, which I think is like the bigger bottle because I had that tiny bottle, Dylan, and I wanted to see if there was a difference, but they sent me this, this Chloe. And I've actually been really intrigued by the Chloe's. I've been wondering what they smell like. So, ooh, it almost fell out. It did fall out, but I caught it. So I'm kind of excited to see. This is the one with a pinkishy beige wrap on the top. It says a sublime powdery rose. Feminine, natural, sexy, and chic. Hmm. I'm going to test this Chloe. I hate these little testers. This is what, I've, I've said this before, testers stress me out. And they do. Because they're so damn small and I feel like I don't get the true perfume. Ooh. This is strong. This is really pretty. I don't know how well this is going to wear. Because it feels like it's really summery, but it really soaked that tester strip. It's a very potent perfume. Powdery rose, feminine, natural, sexy, and chic. I definitely get rose. It, sm it smells like a really soft rose scent. It's not like anything like revolutionary, but 
I do like it. I don't want to spray it on my skin because I have other things. But the perfume that I purchased from the Sephora sale that you got 20% off of, and I also got $10, was La Interdit Rouge by Givenchy. So, if you follow my Instagram, I'm going to say that all the time in these videos. But if you follow my Instagram page, you know when I discovered La Interdit, the Eau de Toilette by Givenchy, I fell in love with it. I feel like it's one of the best tube rose, best almondy. It's just so good, fruity floral. It's right back here in the cabinet behind me. I absolutely adore La Interdit, the EDT. I don't like the EDP, it's too spicy and like musky. And I like musk, but it didn't work for me. And then there's like a dark version, which is really like, just, it's not for me. But this one has just been creeping up in my mind for a while. I got a tester strip sprayer of it when I was at Ulta a couple months ago and I kept the strip in my car and I liked this. It reminded me kind of of like a cinnamon spicy scent. Um, it's definitely a more mature spicy version of La Interdit. I get cinnamon from it. I know that's not a note but it smells spicy like a, a warm cinnamon scent. This, to me, smells a lot like Britney Spears's Fantasy Remix, the Naughty Remix. This has some of the same chemistry, that kind of spicy cinnamon tube rose floral. Um, the Britney Spears does it better. This is good, but the Britney does it better. I've only toyed with this just a little bit. I got it just the other day, I think yesterday or the day before. And I just quickly sprayed it on my inner arm and it smells really good. And it actually smells better on my skin than it did paper. But the bottle is gorgeous. I love that lipsticky red. Um, I just like Givenchy's packaging for the Elenta D line. Um, it's just very aromatic. I feel like it has a little bit of an animalic base to it. Um... I like it a lot. I feel like it borders masculine. A guy could wear this. I feel like with the right body chemistry and the right heat in the body, um, Rouge would really just protrude. I think it has great sillage. Um, I don't really want to spray it on me, so we will test or strip spray it just to, you know, do it. But I do like this scent. It has a great sprayer. Automizer sprayer. Should I use the fancy words? It really is. It's just so fragrant. It really is so fragrant. It's very, very rich. Yeah, it it's so pretty. I feel like it's just that kick that La Interdit, the Eau de Toilette, doesn't have. It has good longevity, surprisingly, for an EDT, but this just has that kick. This is a bigger bottle. This is a 1.7 ounce. Um, my EDT I have is just a one ounce. They make a two fluid ounce, but it was well over $100. And even with my 20% off and my $10, it wasn't going to be under $100. And as you know, I never spend over $100 on a perfume. I will not. I never have, and I'm never going to. So I only got the 1.7 ounce, and it ended up only being like $80, $76. So yeah, it was $76.80. So that's not bad. Um, there are people selling used bottles of this or already pre-opened bottles of this on Mercari for about like 78 plus shipping and all of Mercari's fees. I got this and a bunch of free shit from Sephora. So this is a great buy from the Sephora sale in my opinion. But I really like the scent. I just, I want to keep sniffing it. I feel like it might not be the right season for it right now, winter. I mean, the high today, it's really sunny here in my closet and looks pretty, but the high today is only gonna be like 42. I mean, I'm in a sweater. I do like it. So that was a little gift to myself, but it was with my birthday points and money. So it was kind of a birthday gift to myself. The following fragrances are all actual gifts. Um, 
No, this first one actually is not a gift. Well, it kind of is. It's another one of those birthday things. Alta sent me my birthday coupon along with that 20% off and then I still had some points. So I bought this with my birthday stuff. It was a gift to myself. I just kind of got this because of a few different reasons. One, the packaging. I love this box. Um, I feel like this box is so classic. It looks like a tattoo. I would almost want this like sleeve tattooed on me. I love butterflies. My grandma is no longer with me and I believe in spirits. I'm a very spiritual person. I'm not religious. I'm more spiritual and I believe my grandma is a butterfly. Whenever I see butterflies, I know it's my grandma when I see, but you know, people say that they were reincarnated. Like I believe I used to be an owl. So I was attracted to this Gucci Bloom, Natari di Fiori. I don't know that first word, but I know di Fiori is the last. Natari, Natari di Fiori. Anyways, I tested it at Ulta. I loved the bottle box. I was obsessed with all that, like I just went on and on about. But I just like the simpleness of these bottles, the nude square. They kind of remind me of something that Kim Kardashian West would do, KKW Beauty Line or KKW Fragrance. But I don't have a lot of Gucci. I think I just have one other Gucci fragrance. No, maybe two. No, one. I have that Gucci uh, Memoir de Un, the one that's in that pretty gold and green bottle that smells like herbal grass. It's not the best smell. But yeah, so this is my second Gucci ever. Um, it's only a 1.6 fluid ounce. I got a really good deal on it. Again, I did not pay over 100. I like it. I had a party for Christmas and I had my um, birthday party combined with it with friends and I wore a big fur coat and I sprayed this all over me because it came the night of my party and I thought, oh, I'm going to wear this. I planned on wearing Bombshell Celebration by Victoria's Secret, but this came and I knew it was a gift. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to wear one of my gifts. So I wore this De Fiori, De Fiori. And everyone was like, you smell beautiful. What is that? To me, it smells like the perfect mix of ginger and tuberose. And I love tuberose. I know that Lion 3D has it, but this uses it in a different way. Ginger is a scent that I'm finding my nose is liking more. Also, in my absence, I have cleaned out my cabinet a little more. I sold several of my fragrances. Um, I gave some away. I got rid of some shit. And I still have some for sale on my Mercari page. But this had some similarities. And it's funny because I said this bottle reminds me of a KKW fragrance. This has some similarities to Body 2 by KKW. And a lot of people said that. And I see it. KKW Body 2 has more coconut. This is more of that tuberose, that sandy ginger. Um, but it held wonderful in my fur coat. It doesn't do wonderful on skin, though. It's weird performance on skin. Like, <clears throat> I think it's not a winter scent is the issue. Um, I definitely don't think that Di Fiori is a winter scent. I feel like this will perform wonderful in the summer. Um, like, I'm ready for really hot days in spring. So I can wear this in summer. But it is gorgeous. I, um, it's such a cute, chic mod bottle. And I just love the packaging again. I look at it on the bottle and I look at it here. And I just, I really love the little butterfly. And I like that that's on the perfume bottle. So I attach memory to scent. I'm a big softy. And I like it when I grab that. And I get to think of my grandma. So. A birthday gift did come today. Um, my really good friend Shay, my girl Shay hooked me up with a big old gift card. I got three fragrances. Yeah, I got three. Only two of them came today. One is still in transit with the free gift. Which, by the way, every time you buy something right now with Ulta, you get like a free throw or a free row. The fragrances I bought, I put a bunch of things in my cart and I didn't know what I wanted. One fragrance I knew I wanted because I had just been eyeballing it. I had a sample of it and I had actually purchased it from my Walgreens haul, which you guys have watched that video. It's down in my videos, but it got canceled and that was the Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. So I have still wanted it. It is on my list. It has been on my list. I don't really know why because it's not anything groundbreaking, but 
I just love the bottle and I felt like the sample I had of it, it was just so good. So I bought it. I bought only the one fluid ounce and that still was like $80. But I did get a good deal on it. I like that the stamping on the side is like an embossed houndstooth. Um, and I love houndstooth. That's my favorite print. So I'm loving this box. Um, and here comes the bottle. It's so cute and tiny. Oh, it's so tiny. Look at this tiny little ice bottle. The houndstooth embossing is on the bottom of the bottle. I'm living. Yes, Miss Dior. And I just like this. Yeah, I can't get over how tiny this is. I did not think I ordered... Oh, did I break that? Oh, no. I'm always fucking up lids, y'all. But I did not think I ordered one fluid ounce. This is small AF. But my only other Dior I have is the one, the poison, the summery one. No, not summery. It's fall. And it's only one fluid ounce. So I guess my Dior's are just going to be small. It's still a really pretty bottle, though. It's really classy. I just feel like that top lid is a little cheap. This little bow on it. Anyways, what makes me mad is this is only a one fluid ounce and the price I paid for it. The one I ordered from Walgreens was the 1.7 fluid ounce and I got it for like $30. That's why they canceled it. They fucked up with the pricing because this was over $85. It was 88, I think, or 85 maybe. Yeah, I mean, I got it for less, but Walgreens, you messed up and you took it out on me. Not fair. I love the bottle, though. The packaging is gorgeous. This smells a little different. It smells like lipstick. Ooh, this is different. It smells like a plastic Barbie doll. What is up with this? Why does this smell different? This doesn't smell like the... Oh, my gosh. Absolutely blooming. No, that's it. I was thinking, did I have blooming bouquet? I have samples. Did I keep the sample? I think I threw it away. Side moment. We're going to check some of my samples. No, that's the Lancome. That's the Valentino. That's... No, I throw them away when I'm done with them. Dang. I'm wondering if maybe I had Blooming Bouquet. Because this doesn't smell anything like... It's good. It's like a lipsticky magnolia floral. Okay, this isn't working on the paper. I'm going to have to spray this on my body. <clears throat> I apologize if I have to clear my throat. Like I mentioned, I was sick. What in the world? This doesn't smell anything like the sample I had. I think the sample I had was not misty or absolutely blooming. It might have been blooming bouquet. <laughs> Fuck, I got the wrong perfume. This is so good, though. This is better than what I thought I was buying. Damn, what is this? This is so good. This has something special in it. This is like a plasticky lipstick. Like, you know when a girl puts on a lipstick and it's like high-end makeup, not like new, but like that old makeup, old antique makeup has that kind of, that artificial starchy smell. And then it has like a beautiful floral mixed in it, like a blooming floral. Like if it's got rose, it I feel like it's damask rose. Damask roses are very fragrant and just blooming and they're beautiful big roses. I feel like this has damask rose in it. God bless, this smells so good. This is gorgeous. I have almost 300 fragrances. I have a lot of shit. This is sensational. Gosh, this is so pretty. It's extremely strong. I just did a light spritz on my wrist, and this is booming. Like, wow. That is insane. This little bottle packs a wallop. Like, oh my god. I'm blown away by this. 1,000% impressed. I just smell lipstick. But I like that. I like that. It's kind of a nostalgic thing as well. Oh, wow. I'm really impressed with that. Jeez, please. It's citrusy, too. Damn, damn, damn. That, that hit it out of the park. Okay, Miss Dior. All right. So, I bought that, and 
I still had quite a bit of points left and money and the gift card was large. So I was like, what the hell else do I buy? And I threw a couple things in my car and then I started to scroll and scroll and scroll through Ulta's perfumes and I got to the Juicy Couture section and I was like, oh. So there is a Juicy Couture fragrance called Oui. O-U-I. Oui. Oi is what it looks like, but I think it's called Oui is how you pronounce it. Oui. If it's Oi, then I'm wrong, but I call it Oui. So <clears throat> apparently... And I have oi, we, whatever, we, I call it we. <laughs> I hope it's we. If it's oi, I'm going to feel so stupid. Oi, we, I have the one in the, um, the red and, where's my juicies? Hold. I have the one in the pink and red bottle, and it smells amazing, and I love it, and it's a just amazing scent. And then they made that, like, splash version, that, like, Malibu Punch Rum version of it that is really popular at Ulta right now, but I tested it when I did that video on my Instagram of all the Ulta scents that I tested, and I was like, oh, no, why is this, this is so boring. Gosh, that Miss Dior mm, is not boring. Anyways, they made a line of four fragrances called We Play. I believe it's We, O-U-I, We. So We Play, and they are like small little bottles, and they have the big glass plastic topper and they're all different and they have little charms so I bought two of them after reading the notes and one came with this Miss Dior so this is the one that came this is Decadent Queen she is in a purple bottle I'm not quite sure what to expect I've not opened this yet I didn't realize it's only a 0.5 fluid ounce I hope it's a sprayer. If it's a dabber, I'm going to be pissed. No, it's a sprayer. Thank God. Okay. It has a cute little charm. I really like this bottle. It is absolutely adorable. And it has like a gold base and an insert. Like, do you put it in something? Huh? It says, scent, luxurious and addictive. We Juicy Couture Play is a collection of fragrances to wear alone or layer to create a scent that is uniquely your own. That's cool. Do you, like, set this on top of the other Juicy scent? I don't get it. That's so weird. It's such a small, like, I feel like that's, like, three or four sprays. 0 0.5 fluid ounce. Like, what? And this was $32. I mean, I ended up getting it for, like, 22 But still, I feel like that's a bit pricey. Okay, I feel like this is the one that had, like, cherry, goji cherry. One of them had, like, a cherry note. So, <clears throat> that's why I bought it. Plus, they're cute. These are super small. I'm, like, really unimpressed with them, the size. Smells good. Smells like grape soda. It smells like a fresh grapey scent. It's a de Parfum, though. It's a little bit strong. I love the crown. I love crowns. Crowns are something that I love. So, I mean, for the bottle alone, hell, I just set this out in my closet. It actually matches my Christmas tree. Oh, my God. It matches my Christmas tree that has purple. It's so cute. It's super cute. The bottle's adorable. I think this would smell pretty with Noir. Viva La Juicy Noir. Has that weird, like, almost raspberry, almost grapey vibe to it, which is why I like Viva La Juicy Noir. If you ever are a Viva La Juicy purchaser and you're like, this is one of the most boring scents, it is. But by Noir, the N-O-I-R version, it's in a much prettier dark pink that has like a black uh, little bow tie. I call them bow ties. And it is good. It is like sexy and juicy and mature. This would mix well with that. And I have a few other scents this would mix well with. Uh, I have a Escada scent that this would go really well with. The cherry and the grape of those two, the Flor del Sol and this. Mm. That smell like a snack in the summertime. This is really pretty. It's a little boring, though. So that's it. We are done. These are my gifts thus far. I have another Oi Play or We Play uh, coming. And I have two more fragrances coming from Ulta. So we've got three more perfumes coming. There will be reviews soon. And ooh, what else do I have? Oh, that's it. 
Yeah. Oh, no, that's not it. I also bought a scent that I got on eBay that I was originally going to buy at the Sephora sale, but I ended up purchasing it on eBay for cheaper, and I'll do a review about it, too. I don't know where it is. It's not gotten here yet, so that eBay seller's not going to get any five stars. Um, but these are great. That little Misty Dior just packs a punch. It's definitely the strongest scent. I mean, it is also the only one I've worn on my skin, but wow, really impressed. If anybody has that, what do you think? Because I'm loving it. I wonder if I just have better projection with it and other people don't, because that's insane. The, the staying power in this, I feel like it's going to be all day. It is so pretty. Mm. Anyways, end of the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. I love to answer your comments. I appreciate everybody's comments, um, the feedback. I'm continuing to grow here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back with more. Peace out. Bye.